in every age, God has raised up men and women to meet the needs of the day. Now is that time. You are the one. Now is the time for saints. One of my favorite places on earth is this little clearing in the woods in Midland, Ontario. And it's marked simply with a tall wooden cross. And it's the site of the martyrdom of St. John de Brebeuf. And um, what always strikes me when I'm there is that um, even though this was a place where a very brutal and violent atrocity um, took place, it's now this place of profound peace. Um, and I think that that's because St. John de Brebeuf was a man who possessed this tremendous peace of heart. As a Jesuit priest, he was one of the first missionaries to the Huron people of Canada um, in the 1600s. And what I find very hopeful for us was that his peace didn't come from his circumstances. Um, he faced harsh weather conditions, illness, hunger, um, and I think most difficult of all, a really apparent lack of fruitfulness in his missionary efforts with very few converts to the faith. But in the midst of all of that, he remained peaceful because his eyes were totally fixed on Jesus. He reminds me of that quote from Kierkegaard, to be a saint is to will one thing. And I think this was so true of St. John de Brebeuf. All he wanted was to do the will of God, to bring glory to Jesus. He was so aware of the redemption that had been won for him, so grateful for the love of God in his own life, and he only wanted to please God, to offer everything to him. When he was captured um, with some of the Huron people, he encouraged them by saying, my children, let us lift our eyes to heaven at the height of our afflictions, let us remember that God is the witness of our sufferings, and we will soon and will soon be our exceedingly great reward. Let us die in this faith, and let us hope from his goodness the fulfillment of his promises. He said, Sustain with courage the few remaining torments. They will end with our lives. The glory which will follow them will never have an end. So may we too be aware of the great love God has for us, the redemption he's won for us. Let our lives be about the one thing, be about Jesus, bringing him glory and doing his will. St. John de Brebeuf, pray for us.